Now, your six sports report. Good evening, everyone. Pitt and West Virginia have met every year on the court since 1918, but with there being no guarantee of playing after this season, tonight could be the last meeting in this backyard basketball. Pitt coming in having lost two straight. West Virginia has lost five of six, and about as close a game as you could expect in the first half. Talib Zana on the follow. Pitt was up one, but in the second half, totally different story. Jabari Hines for the Mountaineers spots up for three. West Virginia takes a 36-31 lead. Then it's Dennis Kalichla in throw it down. You would not like this Turk when he is angry. He had 14 points. Meanwhile, Pitt had 17 turnovers tonight going the other way. Truck Bryant and the foul. West Virginia rolls at the Pete 66 to 48. Both the Penn State men and women were in action tonight, and we start on home court where the line men hosted Iowa. Pat Chambers getting his squad fired up at the BJC. This guy's infectious, but Matt Gaetjens from Iowa catching fire, going five of seven from three in the second half. Tim Frazier, though, keeping the lines in it. Takes it strong to the 10. We're just going to stick with this. Frazier at 18 points, also solid on defense. The pressure here helps force the turnover, and it's Ross Travis up ahead to Nick Colella who lays it up and in. Iowa would get within two, but with under two to play, Jermaine Marshall, the pride of Redland, Pennsylvania, puts Penn State up 66-61 with the three. Lions go on to win 69-64. Out in Purdue, Cokies Washington in the first place, Lady Lions at the 17th ranked Boilermaker, second half, machine gun Maggie. Step back three for Mackie Lucas. That is silly and unguardable. Just under nine minutes into the second half, Penn State hanging on to a three-point lead. Here comes Purdue. Antoinette Howard gets it back after her own miss. Purdue's within one. Same score. Just a minute later, it is Lucas again. How does she get that wide open? She had 28 points on the night. Penn State starts to pull away. Two seconds on the shot clock. Me and Nixon with the dagger. Penn State goes up seven and wins 74 to 63. High school basketball conference championships are coming up this weekend. So we wrapped up the regular season tonight with a great Tyrone Bellwood Annis rivalry. Both teams winning their respective division titles. Mountain League in the ICC North. Bellwood bodying up early. David Wolf working inside in the turnaround to fall. Tyrone driving down the court. Richard Crabtree, a little kiss off the glass. Devil Jaw, though, showing off their size. Off the miss, Wolf tears it down. Goes up strong to Zach Sinisi underneath. Golden Eagles, though, begin to take off. Taking flight. Steve Franco throws it down. Franco then goes cross court to Crabtree. The open three, Tyrone wins their backyard brawl tonight, 66 to 54. We're hitting some milestones tonight. Johnstown's Malcolm Harris looking for win number 100 on the wrestling mat against Shade. Third period, Harris gets the pin and becomes just the second Trojan in history, the school's history, to win 100 matches. A huge moment for him joining Anthony Andrews as the only other 100 match winners at Johnstown. Next match, 152. Shades Wolf Otten, the defending District 5 chant, gets some back points. Wolf wins the bout, but Johnstown howls to win the match 33 to 18. And we close tonight on the rink. Richland hosting Somerset. All Eagles on the attack in the second, but Josh Shearman coming up with the save. Shearman was stonewalling Somerset Eagles in the second period. You shall get nothing and like it, he said. But the Eagles were able to get theirs moments later, and they did it with Jet Smith. He had four goals tonight, 29 now in the season. Somerset rolls to an 8-1 win. 